Hey, Tiger fans, it's Mark Fitzpatrick, Tiger Club of Kansas City. It's Tuesday, February 7th. Our guest today at the Westport Flea Market, former Mizzou basketball standout Kevin Purrier, a handful of Mizzou players ever to score 1,000 points and grab 500 rebounds in his career. Kevin, welcome. Thanks for coming. Tell us Good. what you're up to these days. Uh, just working, uh, working in finance. I've been in the business for about three and a half years now. Um, Doing some broadcasting with uh, with the Mizzou Network and uh, doing some coaching as an assistant coach at, at St. Thomas Aquinas High School this year as well. You look back at your uh, Mizzou career. Uh, what what are the memories really stand out to you? Uh, the memories that really stand out to me, I would say, the most would be my teammates, um, just the bond that we have, and being able to go back to Columbia and see them and and kind of reminisce on the times we had together. Um, and from an individual game perspective, I gotta say Auburn. I gotta say Auburn. I gotta say Mississippi State in uh, I want to say 20, 2017, 2018 season. Um, those were huge moments for me individually. And, and you know, when I go back and, and look at games, those are those are the ones that I watch the most of probably. A few weeks ago, we had uh, former Mizzou American Sophie Cunningham as mm -hmm. guest speaker. She talked a lot about NIL and transfer portal. I'd like to get your thoughts on that. Looking, you didn't have those opportunities in the NIL, and do you think there should be some restrictions on uh, put in place? It seems like it's kind of the wild, wild west right now. Well, I think it's a good opportunity for the players to go out and make some money for sure and capitalize on their brands. Um, and when you talk about the transfer portal, uh, I do think that um, there uh, one the portal. There's a lot of people in the portal, a lot of kids in the portal every year now, and it seems to be increasing. And, um, you know, while there are some kids who have bad situations at the schools that, that they're currently at, um, I do think that a lot of it has to do with just fighting through adversity. Um, so I would love to see, um, you know, even if you're not getting the results that you want year one, maybe maybe you should come back for year two after a summer where you've worked out, you've, you've, gotten, uh, you've gotten in the weight room and you've improved yourself. And now after that second year, if it's still not working, then maybe, OK, now it's time to look at another option. So. I think that um, just as a general rule of thumb, players should stay at least for, for two years just um, just to figure out if it's if it's really the place for them or not. Everybody's pretty excited about the current version of Mizzou basketball. You watch them a lot. Uh, your impressions of what Coach Gates has done this year? Uh, no, I think he's done a fantastic job. I mean, they're playing a, a, a great brand of basketball. It's fun to watch. They're energized. Um, they really like to get up and down the court, and obviously Kobe Brown has been absolutely fantastic this season. Yeah. Um, you know, really playing at an All-American level and, and rebounding and really just doing everything his team needs him to do. Um, so you've got Kobe as a centerpiece, and you've got pieces like Demoy Hodge and, and Dre Golston, Noah Carter, who chips in, and then you got guys who come off the bench who are starting to come along with Mo Diara, um, providing some good minutes off the bench. Uh, Sean East, who does really well, subbing in for Nick Honor. Um, so yeah, I mean they have a, a, a well-rounded team that, that's complementary of each other, and I'm excited for this final stretch of the season heading into March. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Uh, you watch a lot of college basketball. It looks very balanced this year. Mm -hmm. Give me two or three teams that you think will be there at the end of uh, March. Okay, well I really like uh, I really like Tennessee. Um, obviously the Gonzagas, they're, they've always had a great team. Uh, Mark Few does a great job there. Um, and I think a team that's been surprising this year, uh, not only not only our Missouri Tigers, who, who've been pleasantly surprising yeah. um, in year one of, of Dennis Gates' tenure, um, Alabama, uh, the, the crew that Nate, Nate, Nate Oates has over there, they're, they're doing a great job. Brandon Miller is um, top five pick and, and one of the best players in the country. So it's been fun to watch that as well. Alabama, interesting. They lose by 24 at Oklahoma and then and beat Vanderbilt by 57. Oh, yeah. Next down. Yeah. It just shows you what kind of crazy season. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. It's, uh, you know, in college basketball, if you don't show up to play one night, you, you can pay for it and nobody's exempt from it. Um, so, you know, when it comes to college sports, that's just sometimes it's just what you get. Um, but it's but it's all about how you rebound. And, and Alabama, obviously, with a 57 point win, they yeah, rebounded pretty uh, well. Hey, thank you so much for coming out. I know you got a busy schedule with your coaching and, and your job <laughs> and, and your broadcasting. I hope that takes off for you. No, Kevin Fourier. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having Outstanding me. Outstanding player at Mizzou. Hey, next week we will have Aaron Ladd as our guest speaker from uh, 41 Action News. And he's a Mizzou grad, so come out and see him. And then two weeks, Adam Teicher, who covers the Chiefs for ESPN. Hey, for more information on events and membership, go to kctigerclub.com.